Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is another Glitter Girls collaboration and this time we did some animal print nail designs and I was really unsure about this one but I was so happy with the way it turned out and I really enjoyed it and it gave me a lot of practice doing some freehand work because I painted all the animal print on myself so I was super proud um, and I got to use my Natalie Mugridge detailer brush um, and I'm getting used to it so I'm really pleased about that so I love this set. Um, so I'm just starting off with, um, I'm using iMaily gel polishes in this set. Um, so that was, um, I think it was 120, that pink, and I've done that on three tips. And then I'm going in with the She Modern um, Sparkling Sheer Pigments. I actually thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I've already done the orange one. Um, and I just started doing this pink one, so I'm just going to carry on showing you how I did that. So basically, it's super easy. These pigments are amazing. Um, they give you an amazing, fantastic gradient effect without having to do any effort whatsoever. Um, so yeah, you just pat that on um, and where you want it sort of feathering, you just go a bit lighter and put a bit less on. Um, yeah, so absolutely brilliant. I just put this onto the tacky layer of the gel polish. You can use gel glue. Uh, sorry, glue gel that She Modern does. So if you haven't got a sticky layer, then you would need that. Um, but it does work on sticky layers of gel polish as well. So this is what they look like when I've finished putting the pigments on. And then I'm going in with the glue gel now, um, just over some of the area because I want to put some um, hollow glitters on, on top. I'm not putting it all over because I really want that effect to stay on with the pigment. So I'm just using... Um, a tiny little bit on a fan brush so on the orange one I'm using the hollow orange hollow glitter and on the pink one I'm using the clear hollow glitter or clear white hollow glitter and I'm just patting that on ever ever so gently so that I just get a little bit on and not loads everywhere so um, yeah I forgot to mention as well I did cure the glue gel so that does need curing for 30 seconds in the lamp. And the gel polishes, I always cure for 30 seconds as well. And there is two coats of that pink gel polish on each of the tips. So I'm going in with a base coat now. And that is just basically to seal all that pigment in so that it doesn't go anywhere. Um, and it's also to protect um, anything else that I'll put on top of it because... I don't want all bits of pigment in my top coats or anything like that. And I'm going in with a matte top coat on these um, because it's easier to put the, the painting on if you've got a matte surface. So I'll put the matte top coat on and cure that for 30 seconds. And then here I'm going in with the detailer brush and the black iMaily gel polish. I was going to try, um, you'll notice that I've sped this up. I was going to try using the um, She Modern water paints to do this, but because I'm really slow at this freehand because I'm not used to it yet, um, I did try and it kept drying on me because I was so slow, which is, you know, what you want. You want it to uh, dry, um, but not at the moment because I'm not used to it. So that's why I use the gel polish. Um, so yeah, we will get there eventually with the jet, with the water paints because they are amazing, but they are air dry, so you've only got so long to work with them. So that's why I love this gel polish for this because it's not drying. Um, and even though it looks like I'm going slow, this is sped up double and then I, sped, I speed it up like three times. Um, so it's three times as fast, but it still looks like I'm going really slow because it took me absolutely forever. So I'm just going to let you watch this now. So this is obviously the leopard print design that I'm doing. And then on the next nail, on the pink one, I'm going to do like a zebra print. And that's the same. I've sped it up because it took me ages. And then on the final nail, um, I am putting some white gel polish on, sort of in a diagonal shape across the nail. Um, and then I'm putting cow print on that one. So it's the same. I'm using the same I'm Ailey black gel polish with um, my detailer brush. And I'm just painting on um, all of the patterns that I want on each nail. So as usual, all the links for everything that I use will be in the description box. And there will also be a playlist for everybody else's videos. Um, because this is a collaboration with the Glitter Girls. So all of us who have done videos, we will have a playlist for every video. Um, so that every video is on there and you can see them all together. Um, and also there's some people that don't have YouTube that just do photos on Instagram. So if you go over to my Instagram, 
details for that are on the in the description box um and you'll be able to see all the other photos I want to say a big thank you to Sarah from Pumpkins Nail Station um, for hosting this collaboration. Um, so she has done the photos for Instagram and things like that, but there are also some people who have done um, the playlist and things like that. So I will add those details in the description box because while I'm editing this, I'm not entirely sure who's doing what. So I will make sure that I add their channel links in the description box so that you can give those some support as well. So this is going to be the cow print nail, this last one, um, and I'm going to put the white sparkling pigment over that white, um, but then when I've done it, um, 
I wanted it to be a little bit different, so I decided to put another coat of the glue gel on all over the tip, and then I put another coat of the white um, sparkling pigment over the entire nail, because um, I just wanted this one to be completely shimmery. So yeah, I do cure the glue gel for 30 seconds before I do that. So as with the other nails, I'm going in with a base coat just to cover that pigment up and make sure it's not going anywhere. And then the same as the others as well, I'm going to go over with a matte top coat and cure that for 30 seconds. And then I can go in with the black gel paint again, uh, sorry, the black gel polish again with the detailer brush. And then I can put all the cow print pattern on. Um, yeah, and then I'll come back. Okay, so here they are uh, without any top coat on yet. I'm just about to do that, but I wanted to just show you what they look like matte. Um, the black gel polish on the cow one is still wet, so that's shiny, but yeah, they, people, some people like them matte, and to be honest, I quite like them matte as well, but um, I'm a shiny girl at heart, and I needed to put some top coat on, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, I'm using the iMaily top coat, and it just really brings out the shine on that glitter pigment. 
and I just loved the way that these nails turned out. I was so happy that I finally got, got used to it because I was trying um, to practice for a while with this detailer brush and I just couldn't get it and I sort of nearly gave up and then thought, no, you know, keep having a practice, keep having a go and I actually really enjoyed doing this so I was so happy. So I hope you like this video and like these nails. Which one is your favourite? Um, I love them all, to be honest. I think by a slight, slight margin, it's going to be the zebra one that I like the best. Um, but I think they are all super cute and I love them. And um, yeah, I don't think this was difficult to do either. Um, so yeah, it's something that anybody can do and have a go at. Um, so here they are all finished. What do you think? So yeah, um, I would like to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming back and watching my videos um, and giving me some lovely comments because my subscribers are so lovely. You really are. Um, and you really help me sort of push myself and carry on. So yeah, thank you for that. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.